it's printed. Anyway, so you need, so YIFTI's taking payment on gift sales. You need to give us your banking information and then every week we will ACH you the funds into your bank account. So the default is that we'll send you 100% of the value of the gifts that have been sold for your business. And that will just show up automatically in your bank account. So this is addressing that question about when do you get paid, Kathy? Um, the reason that person is confused is because um, for we have another service that uses a MasterCard redemption scheme. That is not this one. So for instance, the, the Shop Local Fremont card, we don't know where someone's going to shop when that card is sold. So we can't pay the merchants until those gifts are redeemed. And so then it'll be redeemed. That's the MasterCard model. So um, and sometimes multi-location merchants will prefer that model because it gets the right money to the right store. Anyway, you guys don't have to worry about it. Um, so anyway, banking information, very, very important. Um, la here, also you can see, I love this. You can see who's buying your gifts. So you can run your gifts sold report. You can see on here the people and the email address who have been buying these milk and honey gifts. You can see over here the value of the gifts purchased and the amount that's already been redeemed. That's important because since we're sending you on the money on these for these gifts, you have that cash um, technically on your books. You have the corresponding liability for unspent gift cards. So your financial people can get that information here in this report to track the status of the cards that have been sold and redeemed. Okay, so um, the other thing that's important about your portal is here in the manager e-gift. Here is your custom link to your gift card. So you want to go in here and get this link and um, put it on your website so that people can click your home page, not just the marketplace, and buy your gift cards from your home page uh, or put this on social or put this on all different places where you're going to market your card. Um, you can also put it on Facebook. Um, so you can put a link on Facebook for people to buy your card from your Facebook page. We also have a partnership with Facebook. So gifts will show up. Your gifts will show up on the Facebook app when people go to their page, to their um, feed on their Facebook app. So your gifts will automatically show up. And then you can also put them on your Instagram feed. So there are instructions on how to do that on the Instagram website. Um, so the more places you put that link, the more gifts that you'll sell. So that's an that's important thing as well. I think that's it for this page. Any questions on kind of setup or getting paid or reporting? There's one question um, we have from um, Kathy. And she's asking if the delivery fee can be deducted from card if balance is large enough. Yes, Kathy, thank you. So um, by default, the system is set up so that uh, customers pay the e-delivery fee. That e-delivery fee is $1.05% and it um, covers the processing cost on that transaction and fraud protection and basic system operations. Um, if you want, and so the customers would pay that by default. If you want to absorb that cost, there's a setting in your merchant portal. Wrong one. Well, again, back to my too many windows here. Um, in manage accounts. So if you want to subsidize that, you would go here and say manage subsidy and say turn subsidizing on. And then we will subtract we'll sell your cards at face value and we'll subtract the e-delivery fee from that face value before we transfer the funds. That was a great question. Others? Any others? I can't see the chat. I'm just wondering, Donna, maybe this is a good time to kind of talk about how the, the city is, um, is also helping with the e-delivery fee right now. Sure. sure. Um, so part of the promotion that the city is doing um, that Tina is referring to is the city is going to pay those e-delivery fees for now as part of this promotion. So I would, so you don't have to worry about it for now. Um, 
And we'll talk a little bit more about the promotion. I wanted to um, finish up on that high note. So the next part is just real quick. How can you promote your gifts? So promoting, so send, you have that report I showed you on gifts sold. You have marketing rights to all those names. So you can add those to your customer mailing list and send out a link to them. Um, that's gonna be your best source of card sales. If you've got some kind of customer mailing list that you've developed over the years, that's awesome. You can add those names to it and you can send out your link to purchase, invite them to purchase your gift card, basically pay it forward, um, help everybody weather this COVID storm. So um, I would recommend that um, and just send out that link that was in the manage your e-gift page in your merchant portal. You can post that on social, Facebook, Instagram, as we talked about, et cetera. Um, you can do a blog post announcing, announcing your e-gift cards. Tina and her team are doing a whole bunch of marketing of this to the town with press and stuff like that. So should be, you should be getting some good coverage in the press locally in Fremont. Um, and then signage in your store so that people, when people can come into the store, should they, or if they're coming by to pick up takeouts or something, make sure that your link is available there. Um, just, I can send out this, these ideas out to you guys, um, email marketing, social media, um, all that. So next part is redeeming your e-gift cards. So make sure and tell your staff that you're part of this program now. If you need to do a balance check, you can always just go to gifty.com, um, but you probably don't need to do that very often because you're gonna be doing that when you redeem the cards. So. Um, redeeming the cards looks like this. I don't know if this thing is in your way. So people are going to come in with the, their, the cards that they received through email or text, or they could be printed. Um, and if it's sent by email or text, they're going to click a link in that message and it's going to take them to your custom branded gift card. So it's going to show your custom image here and you can scroll down, read the little blurb about your business. When they're ready to redeem, they're gonna click this view gift voucher button and they're gonna get a unique code that applies just to that gift. So it's in pretty small font here. You need to um, key in that code into your merchant portal. So ideally you would have a smartphone or a tablet or any internet connected device that's logged into your merchant portal and just shows this screen here. That's all you need is to be able to see this screen. And then you're gonna key in that code into the enter the gift coupon code field and click the lookup button. And it's gonna come back and tell you, yes, there's a hundred dollars on this card. And then you're gonna say, take $27 off for this transaction. You already have the cash, right? So you already have the money. All you're doing is adjusting the value on the customer's card. So it's gonna take that $27 off the customer card and their card is gonna show a new balance now, assuming they're, you're working with a digital version. If it's a printed version, it's really, really important that you do this live because it's possible that it could have already been redeemed. Maybe somebody else took the order or whatever. You can do this over the phone, the same as you can do this face-to-face. -face. So if you're doing takeout orders or something like that, you can just do it. Um, they can read you the code, you, can, you look it up and it will, we, Yifty will tell you the actual balance on the card, regardless of whatever it says on a piece of paper. It will sync up with a digital version on their phone. That'll be the same, but um, make sure that you do this in real time with the customer there because otherwise we can't possibly, you won't know, you may go to do it later and find out the money's already been spent and there's nothing we can do about that. Um, question? Donna, there's a question from Mary. It says, all our purchases are online. There's no cashier to take the gift code. How does it work for online purchase? doesn't work online. They're gonna to have to call someone and give them the code. There's no online version of this. 
I'm sorry. Sorry, Mary. I see you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, okay, next. Um, any other questions on redemption? Okay, cool. Next um, is the Fremont City promotion. So the promotion is spend at least $20 and get five, spend at least 40 and get 15. So there's two buckets of gifts. Um, and this promotion, they're going to get this promotion, this very generous promotion paid for by the city of Fremont, um, regardless of how they got there. So you don't have to start in the marketplace. They could start from your website. They could start from Facebook. They could start from anywhere. They're going to be taken to your custom gift card page. And on your custom gift card page, they're going to see the same banner that you saw about this promotion as you saw on the Fremont Marketplace. Let, let me go back there and show you that. Sorry, I'm not so good at this having, doing, there it is. Okay, so this banner, there'll be a version of this banner when you click through, like here's Fremont Flowers. So there'll be a version of the banner on the Fremont Flowers page as well. So that when people go to buy a gift from Fremont Flowers, they'll see the banner, they'll see the same terms and conditions as if they came to it from the marketplace or if they came to it from Fremont Flowers website or if they came to it from Facebook or if they, however they get there, they're gonna see the same messaging, which is really important because you would not believe how angry customers get when they think that we're, some people are really think we're evil or think people are, they, I don't know, uh, and they get mad because they think we're trying to cheat them out of their bonus and we never are. So, but things get misconstrued. So the messaging is really, really important because my poor support people take a lot of um, understood, misunderstood customer calls. So anyway, so that, that information will be the same across the board. Donna, I just have a quick question on that. So do the merchants have to do anything in order to get that banner on their webpage? Is there? Nope, it's just gonna be there. Okay. What they can do is um, put this wording on your homepage so that people, when they come to your homepage, um, know that there's a promotion going on and are encouraged to buy your gifts. So that will help, um, but I would, I would try to use these same words. Spend at least $20, get five. Spend at least 40, get 15. Limit one, one gift per merchant per customer. So Someone could go and buy $40 gifts from every single one of the merchants on here and get a whole bunch of $15 gifts, but they can't buy 10 gifts from Fremont Flowers. Okay. Um, and then as we mentioned, um, City is paying the e-delivery fees while this promotion, while supplies last or September 30th. Um, so that's, that's the promotion. Any questions about that? I, I, I just want to mention quickly, uh, so the, the beauty about participating on this platform is, you know, some, are, some of our local small businesses have a website or have a Facebook page or a social media presence, and they can promote this program through that also to get more, more customers. But there are some who've really never had any web presence, right? So this is a great way for, for those businesses to now have a social media and marketing support from the city and from the chamber. So or they didn't have any kind of e-commerce, you know, there yeah. was no online business. Now they have a card that people can buy whether they're open or closed and we'll send them the money. Yeah. And then another thing if you can touch on Donna is um, I want to make sure the, that everybody understands is when you're purchasing a gift card um, where the bonus applies. So anything above $20 uh, in value, you're getting two separate gift cards. So let's say you purchase a $40 gift card, you're getting a code for the $40 gift card, and then separately you're going to get a $15 gift card as well. So you can treat that as one and treat yourself <laughs> with all right. of that, those two gift cards, or you can gift one to somebody else. 
And the bonus gift value is being spent right sent right away to the merchants, just like the main gift. And uh, Kathy has a question on a similar question. Um, say there's a scenario where she buys a gift card for her friend as a present. Her friend will then get the code, excuse me, to redeem when she wishes. Is that correct? Her friend will get the gift that Kathy sends her. Kathy will get the bonus gift. Ooh. But Kathy can forward that bonus gift to her friend. Okay. Okay. Um, this is the last section, T's and C's. So as you signed up, you may or may not remember you checked a box to agree with the T's and C's. There's a link here of what that is. Um, the main things, important things are you can cancel anytime. It's month to month. So if you, but if you cancel, uh, it just means you won't be selling new cards. You must continue redeeming the cards that were sold because you have the money and you have that obligation to redeem those cards for the individuals who are the card holders. And so if you cancel, Yifty will continue to support that at no cost to you, um, but you can't sell new cards if you cancel. Okay, so that brings us up to pricing. So we are waiving our normal subscription fee, which is $30 per month through the end of September. So for right now, since the city of Fremont is paying e-delivery fees and you don't want to opt in and do that since they're paying, very generous of you, Tina, um, it's there's zero cost for this program to the merchants to participate. As of October, we will give you a choice of the $30 per month flat fee or 5% of your gifts sold, or if you don't find at least that much value, you can always stop selling gifts. And we will continue to support you to redeem the ones that you sell. So that's the that's pricing. These gifts um, do not expire. They live forever. So um, we, will, we will continue to support you forever to redeem those. And those are probably, those are the main T's and C's, the most important part. And that, oh, there's a bunch of FAQs. Um, what do I do if the card is declined? Um, it's declined if you try to charge more money on it than, uh, than is on the card. It's a prepaid card, but that's probably not gonna happen because you're gonna have the balance of the card right there. Um, does it function as a prepaid card? Is there any automatic holdback? No, there's no automatic holdback. Um, we don't recommend tipping on the cards because unless you are gonna close it out right there and make sure that it uh, is processed, sometimes that can get into issues where you, know, you might've cleared it for um, $50 on a $60 card and then somebody puts a $20 tip or something and it goes over. But that's that's not really going to be a problem with this card. Um, where do they buy them? They buy them on your website, on your Facebook page, on the marketplace, etc. They're delivered by email, text, or print. So if, there is no plastic in this program, but if somebody wants something physical, they can be printed. Um, we talked about the fees. Can it be used more than once? Yes, they're multi-use cards. Can you apply a refund? Yes, you can, you can apply a refund as you go through that payment process. You can put money back on a card. Any other questions? That's the end of what I had to, what I prepared, um, but I'm happy to take any questions. I think uh, everybody can unmute themselves if they want um, and have a discussion. Just quickly, I wanna mention um, you know, if you, if you have a website, if you have a Facebook page, uh, of course, no brainer, you know, spread the word and um, share the poster, share the flyer, let your customers know that you're part of this program. Um, and then another idea is like when you email your customers or do any kind of communication, maybe um, consider adding, you know, either givefremont.com or some sort of a, something in your email signature to, to notify, you know, when you're communicating with your customers that you're participating and continue spreading the word. Um, and Supraj, I want to give you credit for the great idea. <laughs> uh, we were chatting yesterday about the program and uh, 
you know, Supraja brought up that not all her employees may know about this program, right? Some of them do and some of them may not remember to tell the customers. So what if there was a sign um, at the door or at the entrance or near the menu that customers, when they walk in, they know that you know, your business is participating. So we've created a flyer, I emailed it to everybody. I'm also gonna post that on, on Facebook and our website. So future participating businesses can print, uh, download and print it and as many copies as you want posted anywhere you want, near menu, near your cash register, at entrances, get creative. So uh, that's another um, bit of information I wanted to share. Yeah, thank you, Tina. That, that's, that is helpful because these employees, a few of them, they do, a few don't. So you, I think this is a good way. Yeah. Anybody else has any comments or questions? Anything you want to share with the group? So um, I wouldn't go on yifty.com. I would go on wherever the link is posted for that business, correct? Correct. Okay. And they don't have to have a website because they can post it on their Facebook page, right? Correct. Okay. And the easiest if, if, to remember, and that's why we created the custom URL for the program, is giftfremont.com, right? So if you can't find it anywhere else, the marketplace address is giftfremont.com, right? So that you'll see all the listed merchants there. Perfect, that's what I was looking for, thank you. Um, can I ask a question? Yeah. I'm, I'm wondering if um, like for our chamber members, we can put a link, like put a, um, a graphic of their card and put a link to it on their profile. So if someone's looking at their profile, they could just click on the link and go and buy the car, buy it? They should, Would that work? Do, I think so. Yeah, let's do that, Cindy. Let's figure out how to do that. Okay. It should be, it should be just putting the link on the page. Okay. Because I, I think it'd be great if we could put like a little, like the, I'm just looking at milk and honey because that one's on top. If we could look at the milk, and, if we took the milk and honey graphic that looks like a card and then make it, uh, uh, you know, a, what do I want to say? Hyperlink to it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me um, let me see if we can make that work on our our um, our website. If you need anything from us, just let me know. If you need help, you know, or or even if it's coding help or whatever, we'll figure that out. Okay. Great. Thank you. Yeah, that'll be great, Cindy. And I think you know my, what I'm trying to communicate with uh, the public as we launch this is this is a program where we're bringing the community together. Right. We're as a city, we're putting in this initial funding uh, and we're hoping that our local community, or actually anybody, it doesn't even have to be the, the Fremont community, but we can all come together to support our local businesses here. Uh, it's always nice to be doing the right thing, supporting these businesses, but then getting rewarded for it. It's just a cherry on top, right? <laughs> and yeah. so as Donna mentioned, the promotion from the city promotion that we went over that has zero cost to the merchant, that merchant's that goes until September 30th. And then, you know, this is kind of like our, see how the program is doing. Um, and then, you know, obviously Donna and, and us and Cindy were, were talking about and discussing how to, you know, make this better or continue. So that's definitely also on the table, but wanna make sure as many independent small businesses in Fremont know about this and can take advantage of this program and participate for the next few months that this promotion is running for the very least. Okay, um, I think that's all that we wanted to share. If there are no more questions, uh, in the chat window, I included uh, Donna's email and our economic development email. Uh, I've, I've emailed all of you separately and together multiple times, so you have my email address. Feel free to reach out. Feel free to forward any of this information and flyers and websites to to other businesses or to your you know neighbors and friends. Now this program is live. Anybody can go and purchase gift cards. So we're we're excited. And as as I mentioned before, you'll be you'll start seeing our promotional materials coming out from the city right after 5 p.m. today. So <laughs> we're ready to go. This is hey. awesome. I feel like I really understand it. Thank you so much, Donna and Tina, for like explaining those details and answering those questions. Our CBCA meeting is going to be 
tomorrow night and I can confidently explain it now. <laughs> yeah, Kathy, would it be, um, do you want me to forward my slides to you just in case or anything you like know, that? That would be great. I can use it. Yeah. If I don't use them all, at least one or two that will help them really understand because they yeah. all are very connected in the community and they can, sh they can blast this out. I will, um, yeah, I'll fill in the, the screenshots of the pages I was doing live. So you have the whole thing and you can use whatever you like. But I'm, I'm also going to post, I think I'm going to post that on the, the web page we're creating on fremont.gov, just a link to those for businesses great. that may want to refer to that at a later date. Great, great. Yay! Thank Yay. you, everybody. <laughs> I really appreciate your attention. And please don't hesitate to give us feedback if there's stuff we can improve. We want to hear about it. Um, and I hope everybody sells lots and lots and lots of gifts. Thank you, Donna. Thanks, Donna. Thank you, Tina. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you so much. Hey, Tina, can I ask yeah. a question? Can you forward yeah. us the promotional the stuff that you're working on uh, so we can make sure we use the same ones in our stuff? I will. I will forward you an email as soon as it goes live at 5 p.m. And then okay. I'll also tag you on social media. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, alrighty. Bye-bye.